Well, as I said earlier in the show, we have some fantastic weather in the forecast, and we've actually got some really good news regarding Hurricane Milton, or what was Hurricane Milton as well. As you can see, the latest radar loops where Hurricane Milton at this time yesterday was really in the process of making landfall through the state of Florida. Just a little bit of lingering precipitation, so the hurricane is no longer impacting Florida. In fact, it's no longer a hurricane. It's actually not even a tropical storm anymore. It has significantly weakened as it's moved out over the ocean, but it was strong enough at landfall yesterday and for the uh, evening hours beyond that, that it did cause problems. Ton of rain anywhere from 6 to 12 inches in a widespread swath from about Tampa all the way through Orlando and into Port Orange and some isolated readings there over a foot of rain, which of course uh, there's very few places across the United States where you can get a foot of rain and not have very significant flooding. So flooding still an issue there. Also, wind damage was pretty widespread, especially among, uh, along the landfall area. So places like Sarasota, uh, the Tampa area, 80 to 100 mile per hour wind gusts in areas south of that, even though the winds weren't as strong, those winds were blowing right on shore. So lots of storm surge issues in places like Venice and Punta Gorda. So Milton definitely had big impacts in Florida, but the good news, it is pretty much over with no more additional impacts expected. Back to our weather here again. We had good news on Milton as far as the latest developments. Good news in our weather as well. We're going to be cooling down and that's been the case all week. We are four degrees cooler than we were at this time yesterday. We're going to fall another few degrees for tomorrow and the next day and the next day and then really stay nice and cool through the extended forecast. So let's look at temperatures here overnight tonight. A little better than they've been for the past couple of nights. A couple spots actually falling all the way down into the lower 50s. So relatively cool conditions here compared to where we have been. But still, we're really only getting on track to near normal for this time of year. And tomorrow will actually still be a little bit above normal for this time of year. Still a couple of readings, some stubborn 90s over in the desert. Here in the valley, though, I think we're staying below 90 degrees. And we're actually going to put the 90s away for quite some time. Let's jump from tomorrow into the weekend across the state. 83 for tomorrow, excuse me, for Saturday here in the valley. Look at Sacramento, 77 degrees by Saturday. We could be that cool by the end of the forecast. Not going to get there this weekend though as we look at Sunday. Yes, cooler. Nice day. 81 degrees. That'll be the nicest day we've had in a while. But again, those 70s are looming off in the distance and we'll talk about that right now as we get into the seven day forecast. So for tomorrow, 88 degrees, more clouds in the sky. We saw quite a bit of cloud cover on that roof cam shot right now. Those clouds are going to stay with us for quite some time. Moderate air quality better but still not completely cool. Clearer skies for the weekend, cooler temperatures as we just showed you 83 and 81, and then we stay right there for several days. I've got 81 for Monday, 83 Tuesday, back to 80 on Wednesday, and those the 70s, they show up finally. I've got 77 degrees, the forecast high for Thursday as a big weather system moves in. So we do see the return of some fall like weather. And again, perfect timing. Lots going on in Kern over the next couple of days. As we mentioned earlier, that includes up in Tehachapi for the Apple Festival. Beautiful weather for that. Highs right around 70 degrees. And then even cooler into next week. 60s for the South Mountains down into the 70s for Lake Isabella. We're definitely feeling like October, starting to feel like fall.